Hi folks, how's it going? I hope we're all keeping well. You're very welcome to our final lesson of the week uh, on glaciation. Um, just be aware guys, on Monday we have a live lesson. I'm going to schedule that with you. You'll have a link in your email account to that live lesson. Um, to begin this class guys, you've got, this is from a Leave and Cert higher level exam paper. It's just a short question worth eight marks. So there are four features of glacial, um, uh, sorry, four glacial landforms, I should say, in front of you, A, B, C, and D. And then you have six choices there at the bottom of the page. I want you to match A, B, C, and D with the corresponding feature down at the bottom there, okay? So it just, each one of these will be worth two marks in your leave insert. All right, so hit pause, um, match those four features with the four letters. When you're ready, hit play, and we'll continue with the video. Okay, good stuff. So today, guys, so what it, on Monday, what we're going to do is we're going to do an essay together and we're going to plan it in our live lesson. And then I'm going to give it to you to do for homework. Okay, or do it in the second half because it's double on Monday. So today, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through how you would answer this long question. Okay, so we must know in detail. So in the last couple of lessons, we looked at features of glacial erosion. Um, now, we looked at just being able to identify them and label them, but we must know one feature of glacial erosion in detail, okay? And we also must know a feature of glacial deposition in detail that will be covered in a later lesson, okay? So a typical exam question that comes up, examine the impact of the processes of erosion on the formation of one glacial feature that you've studied. You could also be asked simply um, talk about the formation of one glacial feature you've studied or even just talk about a feature of erosion you have studied. All those guys, for all three of those exam questions, you can use this sample answer, okay? Um, now, important word here, the impact of the processes of erosion, okay? So in all three answers, okay, you would talk about the processes of erosion, okay? And we, we went through them. So we went through a couple of those in quite detail. We went through plucking and abrasion in detail, okay? So already we know, before we even start to answer this question, we know... Okay, I know plucking really well. I know abrasion really well. That's a fair chunk of this answer that you know already. For simply talking about how plucking works, how abrasion works, you will get a lot of marks for this answer. Okay, so we must start off uh, with our opening statement. I'm going to go through all that statement now is in a minute. So your well, your opening statement is typically, you know, a feature of glacial erosion I have studied is uh, a cirque slash curry. Okay, now guys, this search cirque slash curry, this is your... This is this fella here, your armchair shaped hollow in the mountain. It can be called either. Okay, that's just why I have both of them there. All right. We must be able to give an example. Okay. Now, a famous example in Ireland is the Devil's Punch Bowl in County Kerry. Okay. Really famous example. You can see our your cirque is your three-sided mountain with a hollow in it. Okay. So you can see here, there's a side here, there's a back, and there's a side here, and there's a hollow with our lake. What's this hot lake called? A tarn. Okay. We must refer to the processes. Now, there's a new one here that we probably, you, you would have done that in junior cycle, but you maybe haven't covered it yet. Freestyle action, abrasion, plugging, and then you mentioned one called rotational slip at the end, okay, very, uh, very briefly. And then you must draw a diagram, okay? So how to answer this question? Well, our statement, okay? We must give our statement. Our statement is always, okay, your opening statement is what. Uh, what the feature is. So what is the feature? So one feature of glacial erosion I have studied is a curry. Okay. Then you must give a definition. Like these people think of the examiner. The examiner hasn't got a clue. What on earth is a curry? Okay. You must explain. Okay. Develop your answer. Plant the seed. Okay. So you've made your statement. Now explain what you mean by that. Okay. So a curry is a tree-sided hollow high up in the mountains. Okay. That was eroded by a large glacier during the ice age in Ireland. Sometimes they contain a lake called a tarn. Okay, so right away, guys, we're after giving there, um, we're after you know giving a really good description as to what a curry is. Really simple, a tree-sided hollow up in the mountains. This hollow may have a lake called a tarn. Okay, so very very straightforward there. I think I'd be comfortable enough that we all would be, or I'd be confident enough that would be all we'd all be able to give that much at the very least. Okay, now this question in particular. Uh, asked us to talk about the processes. Now, you would, if you would always talk about the processes in detail, okay? So the processes are freestyle action, plucking, abrasion, and rotational slip. These all combine to form a curry or a cirque, okay? So again, guys, if 
by just talking about those processes in a bit of detail, you're going to get most of marks for this question. Okay. Um, and then you must give an example. Our example is the devil's punch bowl in County Kerry. Okay. So now we must explain. So we, we, we mentioned the processes involved, freestyle action, plucking and abrasion. We must explain those processes. Okay. So we should know these processes. Now the first one here, freestyle action, um, this wasn't covered with you over this week. Apologies for that, but it's very, very simple. Okay. So look at, just look at the diagram here. Freestyle action happens up in a mountain. Okay. So in a mountain, if it rains and a, a crack or a crevice in the rock will fill with water. Okay. Now what's going to happen at nighttime on the mountain? On a mountain at nighttime, it's extremely cold. Temperatures drop below zero. So the water will freeze. When water freezes, water expands by about 10%. Okay. Your ice expands by 10%. What's this going to do? It's going to weaken the rock. Okay. And eventually it'll break it off. Okay. And when it breaks the rock off, okay, it can form a small little hollow. And guys, this is where our quarry starts. It starts at the small hollow that can be created by freeze thaw action. Okay. All it takes then is for uh, maybe a layer of ice and snow to accumulate on top. And this will start to carve out the hollow. It's a bit like guys, a pothole. Think about a pothole in the road. A small little hole in the ground in the road is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It originates a small hole. As traffic goes over it, it increases it. That's the same thing that happens here. So freeze thaw action might create a small hollow. And then the, a moving glacier on top of this hollow will cause the quarry to eventually form. So freeze thaw action, our first process. We must explain that. Freeze thaw action is a mechanical weathering process. Water fills little cracks in the mountain rock and freezes. When water freezes, the, uh, it expands by 10%. And the pressure is too much for the rock. And so it weakens the rock and crumbles it away. Okay. Gravity causes this on the upslope side of a mountain and this forms a crevice. So that's what I remember we said, guys, how a tiny hole in the road um, can get bigger and bigger. And that's where your massive pothole comes from. So the small little crevice, okay, formed from freeze thaw action can fill with snow and ice. So as it snows, remember, the accumulation of snow is greater than the melting or the ablation. And this can cause um, snow and ice to build up in the crevice. Okay. Now, what, what can happen then? Plucking is our next process, okay? So snow and ice has built up and it's formed a glacier up here, okay? So plucking, we know plucking is. Plucking is the process of glacial erosion where rock, rocks and debris from the bedrock become embedded in the base and the sides of the glacier, okay? How does this happen? The, it happens, guys, the process of plucking is similar to this. So we know that meltwater seeps into cracks as meltwater expands when it freezes, Okay, and um, this breaks off bits of rock and that bits of rock gets stuck into the glacier. Okay, so as the glacier moves down, okay, moves down the mountain, plucking will occur. And again, what does this do? This enlarges the crevice. Okay, um, so due to gravity, um, so they're stuck here due to meltwater from the glacier seeping into the bedrock and freezing as the glacier moves down slope. Okay, uh, these rocks get plucked and this enlarges the crevice here. Okay, now what's our third process involved? Abrasion. So abrasion is the process whereby the glacier uses the rocks and boulders that are plucked up to abrade or scratch the land. Okay, so as the glacier moves down, okay, the glacier is moving down the mountain, all right, it will um, cause abrasion. So there'll be like a sandpaper like action will cause an abrasion and this will abrade or scratch the land okay and it'll enlarge the crevice here it'll enlarge the crevice which is starting to form our quarry okay so these rocks that are stuck to the glacier leave permanent marks on the land called striations striations guys are like scrapes in the land as well okay so as the glacier slowly moves down slope it leaves behind a deepened hollow in the mountain so guys as the glacier is moving down slope you've got there's free saw action there's plucking there's abrasion these combine to form a deepened hollow in the mountain, which is your cirque. Okay. Sometimes the ice in the hollow may be so heavy that gravity makes it slide in a curved motion. This is called rotational slip. Okay. And that can deepen the hollow even further. That's a new one for us there. Okay. Rotational slip guys will happen up at this point here. So you've got your glacier moving down here. Okay. It's enlarging the hollow. 
So remember guys, this, this hollow here started out as a very small hollow formed by freeze thaw action. And because of plucking and abrasion, the hollow got bigger and, and wider and deeper. Okay, and sometimes rotational slip must occur to get over this point here, especially if the ice is really heavy. Rotational slip occurs and it basically the ice the ice moves out in a curved motion. It doesn't go straight up, it kind of goes sideways over this little bump here. All right. And as we know, then sometimes there's a lake, so there's a hollow in the mountain here. What's going to happen when it rains? It'll get full with water. And this will this is our turn. So a turn will then form here. Okay. So guys, um, this is your diagram here, guys. Okay, so this this exa this example or this question would require a diagram you get two marks for a label diagram like this so it's very similar to the previous one okay you can see here okay the glacier the this blue arrow represents the direction of the glacier movement there's free saw action up here there's plucking here abrasion here and we've got rotational slip here okay so guys what i what i want you to do now is i have got four um short revision questions i want you to do Okay, so just answer those in your copy, please. Um, and they are going to prepare us well for, for preparing this essay and writing it out on Monday. Okay, so I want you to do those questions into your copy. Uh, on Monday, we'll have a live lesson and I'm going to go through how you would write up this, this 30 mark essay. And then I'm going to put the onus on you to do it yourselves. Okay, folks, thanks very much for watching. Any issues at all, please let me know and I'll chat to you on Monday.